Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will be guiding you all how to write the code and execute and set up an, a blinking LED using Atmega32 chip. As the first step, we will start writing the code for this. For this, we will need Atmel Studio 7.0 you can see our previous video on how to uh, download and install and set up at mail studio as the initial step uh, we will press into new project and we will start with gcc executable project and we can uh, give it any name but make sure you save it in a proper location where you remember because uh, you will uh, need that location in order to get your hex file which will be generated after writing this code and building it and that hex file will be uploaded into the microchip as we said before in this device family uh, select atmega and in the under atmega select atmega32 chips Now you can see we have selected that mega 32 chips. So here is where you, you will be starting to write your code. As the first step, we will define the CPU for frequency. For that, uh, for that we will use if and f function, uh, which is the most popular function in C. If and f uh, will prevent you from overwriting the same code again and again for this project we define the CPU frequency as 8 megahertz you guys uh, no need to worry the description of this code link will be provided in this video description so from that link you will be able to download the text file of this code and use it after defining the frequency of the CPU today uh, we going to use an extra header file which is known as util delay uh, we will use the, that header file in a, in order to wait some times uh, between each codes now we're going to call the header file delay now we can start uh, writing the main function first of all we will uh, set ddr uh, b as high in this you can either define as ddr a ddr b ddr c because there are three major set of pins in the microcontroller for this project we have chosen the ddr b b set of the microcontroller and we will set it as 0xff uh, which is equal which hexadecimal value is equivalent to the binary value 0b11111 which means we are setting all the pins in the b part as output pins one stand for output pins and zero stand for input pin in avr family so in here first of all we define all the pins uh, in ddrb as output pins in the infinity while loop we going to write the code for the led blinking in the port b we going to set all the pin initially in high freak high voltage for that again we will set it as 0x ff which is equivalent to 
above binary value and uh, now we will uh, use the delay function uh, to wait some times after executing this code and again we will set all the port d port b pins as 0x00 which stand uh, we will say we are which stand for we are setting all the pins of the port b into low voltage and again we will be calling the delay function in order to wait some times after executing this code okay this is all what we going to execute today after writing this code you can press build and build the solution and the hex file which you need this code will be provided uh, in the description so you can download and use this code if you need so after producing the hex file uh, you can start creating the circuit using proteus software how to setting up proteus and importing libraries are given in the previous video here we are creating a new project in the name of blinking led So this is where you're going to create your circuits. First of all, we shall Im import all the necessary devices. As the first de uh, device, we will need an Atmega 32A chip. It will contains 40 pins and as the other object we will need an LED for this project I will be using a green color LED it's your wish you can use any type of LED all the LED will give you the same output So first of all place the Atmega32 chip in an appropriate position and uh, remember for this project we have defined the pins of port B so make sure you can access the port B, B easily even after drawing your LED. Now place your LED in an appropriate position and connect to any of the port B after connecting it with the pins any pin of a port B now you can connect the LED to the ground always remember the voltage given uh, from the chips will be high voltage and we always have to uh, connect the LED with a ground pin after connecting like this you don't have to give the power for this atmega 32 chip as it this the software has automatically designed in order to power up the chip now what we have to do is we have to upload the hex file which we wrote initially in this video for that double click on that chip and in this menu select program files and go to the location where you saved your project in that project uh, if you go in inside debug you will find two files in that two files 
select the hex file and press open now the code has been uploaded into the chip now you can see by executing this one now you all can see the LED bulb is glowing with a thousand millisecond delay which is approximately 10 second delay now you can see the LED has gone off and the indicators near the pins uh, glow in blue which indicates 0 and uh, when it glows in red it indicates 1 so that's all for today if there is any doubt please uh, put in the comment we shall meet you with another video with more knowledge thank you for joining us